spring is just around the corner. Just, just a couple weeks away. It's hard to believe. It seems like it just keeps getting faster and faster. It's like we're almost there. And I'm actually behind on starting a number of seeds like tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that. So, uh, oh man, we've got a work cut out for us. So this is my seed library here. We're going to go ahead and pick out some seeds that we're going to be starting today. Like our market more cucumbers, which has been a really good one for us. And uh, we'll pick out a number of things as well. But uh, here, in here is my grow room, and I use it for growing our microgreens here, as well as starch, like our lettuces that, that we have started up here. And I'm going to try to use this with being able to control the light, the temperature, and humidity in here for the most part. I'm going to, that, hopefully that will help us accelerate getting our seed started, uh, our lettuces and cucumbers and things like that. But we just got a number of, a bunch of new seeds from Baker Creek and I'm pretty excited about that. So we're gonna be starting some of those here pretty soon too. We have uh, some tomatoes here, cherry tomatoes that we're gonna be starting. And they also have come out with a market garden catalog specifically for market gardeners. And uh, I look forward to contributing to this catalog at some point, but uh, definitely recommend it because uh, it provides a number of their heirloom seeds that are great for those who are looking for plants to grow, produce to grow that are short days to maturity. So definitely recommend that. So I'm going to select a number of seeds and put them right here in this basket for the kids and Lacey to have them go ahead and start the seeds while I go ahead and get to work with using the chainsaw and continuing the work that I'm doing and culling out this area, clearing it up so that way we can grow some some flowers and have some things like blueberries and blackberries and some fruit trees growing as well as some pasture area for our chickens so i'm gonna have to get on that really gonna have to maximize our efforts and work together hello everybody hello. hi hey you guys reading a book over there yep so what book are you reading there guys 13 story tree house. I'm wearing um, the so, foil type bag. No, it doesn't. That's not what it says. <laughs> Darth Vader fights back? That's not quite the name, but that's close. So, you like to read, don't you? Yep. I All like right. to read. I like to read too. I don't like to read too. You do? Mm. You can't read yet, can you? <laughs> you can. <laughs> I'm reading in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> making some tea over there? Coffee? I'm making coffee. <laughs> Give you some energy for today? I just like coffee. <laughs> well, you'll need the energy too, I think. Knowing you, I probably will. <laughs> so today, we're going to need to maximize our efforts by splitting up into teams. Uh, I'm going to keep working on cutting up trees up there. If you guys could go ahead and start some seeds for me, that would be fantastic. So we got a number of seeds here for the market garden that way behind on. So we're going to need to really get on it and hopefully the, the lights will help it germinate and grow faster. We'll see where it goes. So I'm thinking maybe you and Sayla could work on starting these seeds and Josiah and I will work on the wood. How's that sound to you? That works. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is I have a couple trees that I feel inside here in the chicken field. So we're going to cut those up because those have been hindering Josiah from doing what he needs to do and gathering the eggs. So I'm trying to make his job a little bit easier. Well, Mike says he has all the stuff I need to, to sow seeds set up in the greenhouse and I've changed into my seed starting clothes so I don't get my other ones all grimy and now I have to go find Sayla and Micah to see if they can help me out. Hey 
Mike has it all laid out for me in here on what all he wants to have planted and what all we're gonna grow for the market garden this year. So I'm gonna get to work on that. Sayla's in here helping me fill up all these trays over here. I appreciate her help. She's using a potty mix. A potty mix. It sounds like I said potty mix this time. She's using a potting mix that Mike has put together and I think he's been experimenting with some different ones. So if you would like for us to do a video on making your own potting mix then uh, leave us a comment below and let us know and we'll try and get that out. All right so I have two of those trees cut up and Josiah's been doing an excellent job with just using in the pruning shears there and uh, just clipping off the small little branches, the twigs, and we have our gorilla cart here loaded up. We're gonna be pretty good with wood for a while, I think, because uh, we have making a lot of progress with this area that I've been culling out these trees, and I actually mistakenly somehow deleted the last video when I put a full day in with just cutting up trees right in here. So I've made a lot of progress. Still got a lot more work to do out here, but we are making some big time progress here. Uh, what we're gonna do next is I'm just gonna continue moving down this way in this area where the chickens and ducks are. And uh, there's some, a couple little small trees that are just crowding our persimmon trees there. We got a couple persimmon trees here and then a couple around the, on the other side and we're definitely planning to keep those because they are producing for us. And uh, we'll get some mulch around them and take real good care of them. So that way they can continue to produce and produce more as well as add some other things in here that will continue to produce and or that will produce and add to overall abundance that we're looking for here hey Josiah could you give me a hand with dumping the wood right over here in the gorilla cart and then we'll come back and load her up again yeah all right Not the perfect way to be doing this but at least gets the wood out of our way for now and right now we're just dumping it right here on top of this tarp uh, so that way there's no grass and things growing up and under it and then we'll split it later at some point mike had some tomato varieties already picked out that he wanted to plant for sure and i actually ordered some this year that i want to try that are new and a couple from last year that did really well that i think will be really good for our market garden so we're gonna start a lot of tomato varieties All right, Josiah, and can you share with everyone what is the lesson that we talk about with using a gorilla cart or a wheelbarrow? We turn it around the way we're getting ready to go. Fantastic. So why is that? So we don't have to waste extra energy trying to turn it around. 
Oh, I'm so proud of it. <laughs> Good job, man. <laughs> So Josiah pulled in the gorilla cart here. Now he's turning it around, so that way we we load up, we can just go straight out without having to use extra energy, as he said, to turn it around with all that weight in it. Trust me, I had to learn that one hard way. We have some logs that have been here for a while now. They've been breaking down and growing, but as I'm lifting them out and just kind of moving around, trying to make it a little neater, as soon as I lift it up, chickens and ducks see a whole bunch of little goodies under there. Some I see, some I do not see. And they are just going to town with those little treats. Uh, here, chick, chick, chick. <clears throat> here, chick, chick, chick. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, chick, chick. All right, in most of this area that we have these chickens and ducks in, we have wood chips free that we get from our local power company. And you maybe want to check with the origin, check with the power company, uh, check with your city works. You may be able to get free wood chips, free mulch, uh, because they're cutting them down, branches and things like that down all the time and looking for places to dump them. So you may want to try contact. Uh, but still here in this area where we have the persimmon trees that I mentioned earlier, we have a couple, we don't have mulch down yet, and we have a few little trees I want to get rid of just to clear out space so those persimmon trees can hopefully branch out and grow branches that will produce more fruit. Uh, but as I've done this project, I want to show you one of the most annoying things that I've had to deal with, and that is all these tiny trees all over the place. So we're going to knock those out and then get trees like this, just lock them down. And did I say one of the things that I like least is all the little trees? Take that back. Something that I like even lesser than that, and that is one, poison ivy, oh and another one, and things like these thorns and vines that hang on and make it a lot harder to get things down as well as they start poking on you at the same time. Not fun. Uh, be careful, don't get poked. See those thorns on there? Yeah. It's fun. That other big one right there. Where? Yeah, and then the one beside of it. Well, we finished with our tomatoes and squash and peppers. So we have all of those seeded. Still working on lettuce and some cucumbers and some other things. So that is going to have to wait because tonight we're going to a local consignment sale they have twice a year and we gotta get ready to go. I gotta go find Mike and hopefully get everybody in the car. Walking by my garden, it really looks like a mess right now. And it is because I never really pulled everything out from last year. So I need to start doing that pretty soon so I can go ahead and get some of my cold crops that I want to grow growing in here. Um, but some stuff has really overwintered. Like I have some tansy right here that has really stayed. Some yarrow. I was excited to see that it's overwintered. Of course my comfrey has overwintered. It always does. And um, a couple other things. Some more yarrow. But I'm excited about this year to come and having a lot more to grow. Hello. Oh yeah. You gotta go there. You pull me up. 
I found you. Yeah, we're elusive. <laughs> Almost like to see it. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> now we're not gonna turn to the dark side, are we? We're Jedi's. I'm a Jedi like my father before me. What? <laughs> so we need to get everybody in the car. It's about time to go to the top trade for the consignment sale. I guess it is about that time. Man, time flies when you're working, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, we'll dump this and uh, we'll pick up our tools and we'll be ready to go. All right, so that wood we just unloaded was some wood that has been seasoned. It's been out there, I don't know how long, uh, but it looks like it should be good to burn. So Josiah, got to pick up our tools before we head out. You want to ride in the gorilla cart here? Yeah. There we go. I know that oh. you're furious. I know that you're strong. Oh, yeah. All right, you've been wanting me to run all day. Told you I was going to conserve my energy. Now it's the end of the day. I got some energy left. You want me to run now? Yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> So you owe me. <laughs> I pulled you this time in the car. When are you gonna pull me? <laughs> Maybe next time. All right, we better get on back to the house so we can leave. So make sure you stay tuned for our next video because we're gonna talk about some of the things we've had to do financially to be able to homestead and start the farm. And uh, things like this consignment is one of them. So, see you next time. Don't wish for indifference, you're not one of those We fall, we fall, but we always rise up through it all, it all We get a little wiser mm -hmm.